Hi there, uh, welcome to this uh, short video. Um, I've not really made one of these before, this is the first one. Um, but I just thought I'd show you a, a an old but new bit of kit uh, that's arrived with me this last week, over the last few days. Um, a big ass daisy wheel printer. Um, this is a Juki 6200. Uh, there was a very popular one, uh, the 6100, which there's one or two other YouTube videos floating around uh, uh, showing and demonstrating, but this is a 6200, which doesn't appear very often. In fact, I couldn't find a video of one, so I'll make my own. Um, it's immaculate condition, this thing. Um, it landed with me in a huge box, its original box, actually. It came with its tractor kit, uh, which is fitted there, um, and I've already loaded it with some uh, continuous paper. Um, it came with it came with the instruction manual, the original guide, two um, brand new uh, unused printer ribbons, um, single sheet paper support there. I think that is, which I don't need with the tractor kit fitted. It's got a daisy wheel already installed in it, and also on the top of this monitor here, uh, we've got three more with different fonts. What we got? We got a courier, UK courier, um, twelve pitch elite. And what's that one? British Picker in uh, 10 point, 10 pitch rather. So uh, that's, that's quite a good, quite a good find I thought. Anyway, this is the printer. Um, I've never owned one of these before. I've always had dot matrix printers. Um, so this is this is kind of a new one with me. Um, I, I understand they're incredibly loud, but we'll find find out in a minute. Uh, I've got it hooked up here to my old BBC Master computer. There it is. Um, very popular in the 80s. Um, it's running um, its built-in word processor called VIEW. I've got some text in there already typed in just to, to test it. Um, it's hooked up to its parallel interface which is the ribbon cable you can just see hanging out the back there. Uh, there was a serial interface available for this printer uh, as an option but it's not fitted on this one. Maybe I'll see if I can dig one out on the, on the internet and fit it uh, for, for, you know, for lols. Anyway, we've got some text in here, so uh, I suppose the thing to do is test it. So let's come out of the edit screen. I'll go back to it. There we go. And we'll type print. And uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. And there we go. Hell's bells. Bring the front down. Let's have a look what it's doing. Oh, listen to that noise. <laughs> You'd be able to hear this outside. Wow. There we go. That's the print out. Look at the print quality. Wow. Uh, there are only a couple of um, um, fancy text facilities available, I think, on these things. Uh, obviously, it's a it's a daisy wheel, so uh, to change the font, uh, you, you literally have to take the whole wheel out and replace it with a new one. Um, doesn't really do graphics, um, although I, there, there are some. Um, printer driver routines you can get which use you know some of the, the the symbols to generate simple graphics but it will do as you can see there it will do underline and bold at least um, I don't think there's an italic function on it I assume that would be a change of print wheel um, but there we go um, I'm really quite impressed with that text print it's it, and considering how old it is uh, but blimey what what a noise it makes <laughs> it's not like an angry woodpecker uh, fabulous. Anyway, well, there we go. That's that's my new acquisition to go with my little old BBC. Uh, thanks for watching. 